I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on rate law mechanism. Hi, I want to go over a question with you on rate laws. Normally, when we get a problem involving rate laws, we're given data. So you need to have the data in front of you to make any judgment about a rate law. But I want to show you how you can derive a rate law given a mechanism of a reaction. So come around. Now, I have a question like this in the Dat Destroyer, but let me show you how to do this to get you started. I give you an overall equation, 2NO plus bromine gives 2NOBr. And I give you the proposed mechanism. One step is fast, and as you can see, it's an equilibrium step. The second step is slow. The first thing you do to write the rate law is you go to the slow step and you write the rate law for the slow step. These steps of a mechanism are called the elementary steps. And you could write a rate law for an elementary step directly from the reaction itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to say rate equals K2 multiplied by the two reactants, N2O2 and bromine. Now, hopefully we're done right this minute that that's the rate law. But if you look at the equation, the equation has NO and BR in it. And NO2, if you look from up here, is an intermediate because they would cancel out. You can't have an intermediate in the final rate law. So what we got to do is the, the gimmick is we're going to substitute N2O2. Now, N2O2 is formed in the first fast step. So what we're going to do, in addition to the slow step, you go to the fast step first, and that's the equilibrium step. Now, the KEQ, which is equal to the K1 over the K minus 1, is equal to the products over the reactants. So it's N2O2 divided by NO squared. If you cross multiplied, you get KEQ times NO squared is N2O2. So what I'm going to do is wherever I see N2O2, I'm going to substitute KEQ NO squared. So we go back to this equation and rate equals K2. And now I'm doing my substitution, as you can see. The N2O2 is KEQ times NO squared. There's the bromine. Then what I do is I collect all the Ks. I'm going to let K2 times KEQ equal little k. So once I did that and I substituted in rate equals little k times the NO squared times the bromine, and that's the rate law. One quick warning. Even though you might have saw there was NO here and a 2 and a bromine, that has nothing to do, that was just pure coincidence, that the coefficients matched up exactly to the rate law. You needed to go through this and find the correct rate law. Okay, I hope this helps on finding a rate law, but you got to make sure you don't have an intermediate in your final rate law. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group if you got any questions. Bye-bye.